six meters? No, I don't think so. Here we go. I mean, this is the perfect example. Every single time we're here, we have, what, a 20, 30 minute, maybe one hour argument over the size of these animals. Yep. If I say it's a five meter croc, he says, no, 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 it's a four meter croc. <laughs> Always, always. I mean, that's why I'm so curious to put the laser cam to the test. I spot a huge croc, and it's far enough out of the water for me to get a measurement. I shine lasers exactly one foot apart onto the croc. I then take a picture of the crocodile, dots and all. Then I load the picture into my computer. Based on the foot-wide scale I've projected onto its hide, the software calculates the croc size. The verdict, 16 feet, one inch. Not the giant I'm after, but it's a chance to test the laser cam's accuracy. That is, if I can catch it. All right, here's the plan. Since we're right on top of the crocodiles, we're gonna lower a rope straight down with a, with a noose. We're gonna put a piece of chicken on the end of the snare. We're gonna try to maneuver that noose over the head of the crocodile, tighten it up, then throw the rope down to someone on the beach, which will hold on to it until we can get down there and fight the animal. It's Lewis who heads down to the riverside where Juan and I will join her once we've snared the croc. We'll pull it ashore, put a tape measure on it, gather some scientific data, let the animal go. I swing the baited lure as close as I can to the croc snout. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We don't have him, no. do we? No. We don't have him, do no, we? No, we don't. He missed the snare. The I snare's not on his, on his jaws. But it's stolen our chicken. Crocs don't get to be 16 feet unless they're savvy. We tie on another piece and try again. OK. All right, we got it. We got him around both the upper and the lower snout. It's not as good as just the upper snout, but it'll work. All right, make sure nobody's tangled in this rope. Okay, Juan, can you throw the rope? Take up the slack. Hey. Hey. Luz calls us off. Yeah. The big croc has outsmarted us again. You know, when you've got a, a very powerful tail pulling a one-ton body in the opposite direction, sometimes you can pull that snare off, and that's what happened. We won't have many opportunities before the croc gets suspicious. Hopefully, we'll get it this time. It's OK. I get the noose around its jaws. I'm going to tighten one. Yep. Okay, throw the rope, Juan. Throw it, hurry. I can't hold it. Dude, you got it. Okay, let's go. By this time, you wouldn't come on. It's up to lose to hold the croc until we get down to hell. But it's pulling her into the river. She calls my cameraman, Brian, over. Help me, Brian, help me. Man, we're just in time. I add a second rope, but the croc just fights even harder. There's no way we'll get this mammoth out of the water. I cover its eyes to calm it. That is a monster. That is a monster croc. This may be the biggest croc I've ever captured. But this close to the water, we're taking a big risk. Other crocodiles have come to check out the commotion, and we're well within their striking distance. Watch out behind us. We got a big croc moving in right behind us. I hope we come out of this one in one piece. 